All superconducting materials have a transition temperature at which they transition to the superconducting state. For these devices to detect single photons, they must be at temperatures below the superconducting critical temperature, and so there is a lot of motivation to find and use materials with higher critical temperatures. I'm Leah Borgsmiller, and I am a rising senior at Northwestern University. This summer, I am working in Professor Carl Berggren's group developing niobium aluminum thin films for superconducting nanowire single photon detector. So here I'm mounting our sample. We have a temperature probe, and then this whole thing will get sort of secured and we'll put it into a doer of liquid helium so that we can ramp down the temperature and see how the resistance on this area changes as the temperature changes. And then this is the temperature sensor. Here we have our four-point resistance probe. We're gonna mount this on top of our sample. This setup allows us to take both temperature and resistance measurements. These thin films are created using a sputtering system. In order to sputter the sample, I have to load the substrate into a vacuum chamber. During sputtering, materials are deposited on a spinning substrate. And so my project is focusing on optimizing sputtering conditions, such as substrate temperature, pressure, and power levels to get the best films possible. Using a control panel, I can vary the power applied to niobium and aluminum material sources, and also change other parameters like temperature and pressure. My goal was to maximize the critical temperature of these niobium aluminum films by manipulating deposition conditions. We've been using sapphire substrates because those have a good lattice match to the films we're trying to deposit. When we just finished measuring this sample, we were measuring the resistance as a function of temperature. Before this summer, I had had some experience with electronic and magnetic thin films, but I had never worked with superconductors before. Overall, this project has required me to gather as much information about this material as possible, and then synthesize this information in a meaningful way to direct the approach. Additionally, I have learned to use new instruments, and I learned a lot about the complexities of superconducting materials.